Hey, everybody, Father Rich with the Catholic Talk Show with Ryan and Ryan to offer you an opportunity of a lifetime going down to Mexico City to visit Our Lady of Guadalupe just after Easter this year, 2023. That's right. April 17th to the 22nd, you can join us on our trip to Mexico City. And we have a really amazing itinerary to go and venerate Our Lady of Guadalupe and so much more. Yeah, I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite places in the world to go. So I'm going to be super passionate about the places that we're going, some of which, you know, not just the shrine, but we're going to be going to the pyramids. Uh, we're going to be taking off to Chalco and visiting World Villages of Children with Father Dan Leary, who some of you guys might have seen on our show recently that took over for a saint as a chaplain. Uh, we're also going to go to Conchita Cabrera's tomb, which is probably one of the most amazing places of prayer I've been to in the Americas. Very powerful place. I mean, Delacrosse, remember like grown men weeping at her yeah. tomb. I know we we got to celebrate mass there uh, a couple of years ago, and it is so impressive to visit her tomb. Yeah, she's just a, a beautiful soul, loving mother, uh, and and even beyond her the grave, she's still assisting and mothering uh, her her spiritual children here. You know, and That's so right. many people don't know. I mean, her contributions like are on par with Saint Thomas Aquinas. Her intellectual right. abilities and the extent and the volume of her writings. Yeah. You know, we still don't know who this amazing woman is, and we need to, especially as children of the Americas, both yeah. South and North America. We need to be able to tie into our identity as the children of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She is the Empress of the Americas, and some of the most incredible evangelical acts throughout time are rooted right here in the Americas, spawning from Our Lady of Guadalupe in 1531. So we'll be able to get to know a little bit more of the history, visit and venerate the tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe, be able to celebrate mass at the shrine. And like Ryan was saying, we're going to visit some incredible places. And not only will it be amazingly prayerful, but on pilgrimages with us, we also know how to have a little bit of fun. That's right. We're going to have a tequila tasting. We're going to go to the um, the ruins of the Pyramid of the Sun, which is a great cultural site to see that kind of historical yeah. archaeological view. We're also going to be going to the tomb of St. Miguel Pro. And if you ever see the picture of him, he was the priest who was martyred during the Cristeras War, you know, hands out in the in the firing squad. Um, we're going to be able to also uh, go to um, when uh, you're in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, there's the relics of St. Jose Sanchez del Rio, who is another child martyr um, right. in the Cristero War. But Mexico City is one of the greatest places to go. Uh, we've all went to, uh, went together, have a ton of fun there. But one of the most important apparitions of Our Lady is Our Lady of Guadalupe. And she showed up just after the Protestant Reformation when 8 million souls were lost to the Protestant Reformation in Europe. And she brought that many back times multiplied. You know, Father Rich, we were talking about this. Our Lady of Guadalupe brought so many people to the faith in the Americas that it was essentially a new Pentecost every single day for 10 years. So in the book of Acts, they say that Peter preached and the apostles preached on Pentecost and brought 3,000 people into the church. Our Lady of Guadalupe, after her appearance, had that many converts to the faith. 3,000 a day for 10 years. That's how powerful it is. And that's why she's the Empress of the Americas. And to get the chance to see the actual spot where she appeared to Juan Diego, St. Juan Diego, whose tomb and his baptism place, we will also get to see and venerate the Tilma. It's one of the most powerful experiences you could ever have. Absolutely. And you know, the other thing that I'm, I've been thinking about, how much how awesome were the select international tour guides, right? The people oh, that were man. helping us out. It was almost like we were on it together on this pilgrimage together with them. And they just kind of knew where to sit, you know, um, what an amazing uh, journey we took with them in Fatima. So I'm really excited about, uh, you know, their staff members coming and helping us out and guiding us through some of this stuff on this trip as well. Yeah. yeah I we love really going with select. Yeah, we uh, really know, appreciate their partnership and, and uh, you know, traveling through to visit Our Lady of Fatima. It makes sense that the next apparition site that we visit is one tied to our own identity. And, you know, thinking about the trips that we've done in the past to visit Our Lady of Guadalupe and realizing what we're doing here at my parish at St. John Paul II, our cultural programming, you know, we need to reinvigorate culture. And in order to do that, you have to base it on the premise of a knowledge of who you are. 
Well, you know, we are a people of many nations. We are a people of of the world, really, you know, in, in the sense of who who we are as the Americas. And, you know, Our Lady is uniting us in a beautiful way. And, you know, this is going to be not only a cultural experience, but also a charitable opportunity. You know, we've mentioned Father Dan Leary and his beautiful work with the Sisters of Mary at World Villages for Children. You know, we have identified them as our charity each year, our number one charity that we are partnering with at St. John Paul II Catholic Church in Ponte Vedra, Florida, in the Diocese of St. Augustine. But we also, as a, as the Catholic Talk Show, friends with Father Dan Leary and the Sisters of Mary, who they've been on the show before, we want to make this a charitable opportunity for our followers and friends with the talk show and our patrons and those who are going to visit World Villages for Children. I'm telling you, I've had this experience firsthand. It is life-changing to see these children in great number respond to the love of Christ mm -hmm. and you know they're being educated at a high level and these this is one of the most impoverished areas in the world identified by St John Paul II himself Chalco Mexico and the work there from venerable Aloysius Schwartz already up to the present moment and that's that's the saint that we're talking about you know we've we've talked about his life and witness on previous shows i mean his virtue and holiness is next level and one of our good brothers father dan his holiness and virtue is also and a sense of humor too it's, it's on it's another like level. Next level it's on another level so we can't wait to introduce you and, and our patrons more formally to father dan's work the sisters of mary and the children of chalco yeah, now we went with Select International on our trip to Fatima. Uh, it was amazing. Top-notch hotels. Uh, Mexico City is a very safe place to travel. We're going to be staying in some really nice accommodations. But we're also going to get to see these 3,000 orphan children and how they live and how we can support them. We're going to get to see cultural experiences like the Pyramid of the Sun. We're going to get to go to great restaurants. I mean, the food down there is outstanding. Now, this is going to be a very um, – this is going to be just a couple days – uh, it's a very affordable trip, but this will sell out. Our last pilgrimages have all sold out. So if you want to sign up, go to mexico.catholictalkshow.com, and there'll be a link up in the corner now, or you can go to mexico.catholictalkshow.com and find out how you can sign up. Uh, this is a really easy trip to get to from just about anywhere in the United States. It's light mm -hmm. travel, but the experience pays off in such a profound way. Um, I remember going and climbing Tepeyac Hill and picking rose petals on the way up. And getting into the chapel, the, the the little chapel where she appeared, the actual spot, and just the electricity that flowed through me, seeing that. And you're on top of the hill, and you could see almost all of Mexico City, it's and you could see the basilica below. Mm -hmm. And the weather there is beautiful. I mean, we're going in April, and probably everyone's going to be a little bit sick of winter, so this is a nice little trip also. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just such a profound experience. We really want you to experience this with us again. So go to Mexico.CatholicTalkShow.com and sign up now. Let's face it, to our patrons out there and our followers and subscribers on all of our platforms, those who are listening in or viewing our content on YouTube, the origins of this show are rooted in the Immaculate Heart of Mary under the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And we think it is a priority for us to do this just very brief pilgrimage with you. So we want you to participate with us so that we could form that greater bond of unity under her patronage so that we can continue to be directed as a fellowship and proclaim our Catholic faith very, very boldly and how appropriate under the mantle of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So make sure that you go to catholictalkshow.com forward slash Mexico, or you could hit us up on mexico.catholictalkshow.com. They go to the same place. Yeah, they go to the same exact page, and you could see the full itinerary there because we've covered a little bit of the of the trip, but there's the full itinerary at that site and that web page. And then when we go there, the true full itinerary is going to unfold. And you never know when you got somebody like Delacrosse in your life, how that's going to unfold. But I assure <laughs> you, you it's the... going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. If you saw the videos of us uh, on our trip to Fatima and and, and Portugal, seeing Delacrosse as the, the party director. <laughs> on a boat. I mean, that is worth the price <laughs> of a mission alone, let alone getting to yeah. see our lady in Guadalupe. <laughs> So and I'm sure some hijinks and some prayer, uh, some fun and some meditation. There's going to be daily mass. There's going to be opportunities for confession. And really, it's a trip of a lifetime. And it's such an important place to go. And we, we're so glad that you get to be able to go with us through our partner, Select International, who are top-notch, 
put us in the most beautiful, safe accommodations with great food and a really easy uh, system of transportation. You'll absolutely love the experience. I mean, it blew me away uh, going to Europe with these guys and this, and uh, I can't wait to have you guys enjoy it too. Yeah. So join us, our Lady of Guadalupe 2023. Click the link below and we'll see you in Mexico City.